What's up, YouTube? I'm Michael Ragg, and I'm the best public speaker of all time. MLK, Kanye West, Steve Jobs, Oprah Winfrey, that dude that talked about making up your bed on YouTube, they got nothing on me. I'm the best. Bring them to me, and I will body them. Best public speaker of all time, and it's high time you guys hear about me and give me my praise. You feel me? I have a question for you. Did that get your attention? Don't lie. You know it did. You're probably thinking, what the hell did I just click on? This guy is crazy. But I'm going to keep watching just to see what other crazy things he has to say, right? So that was an actual example of how to grab your audience's attention straight away. This is super important because the average adult attention span is a measly eight seconds. Yes, that's less than a goldfish at nine seconds. So if you don't grab their attention straight away, you're going to lose them, especially on YouTube. You got to get their attention and you got to hold that attention attention to feed that YouTube algorithm, baby. Mm. In this video, we're gonna go over a bunch of ways that you can hook your audience and reel them in and keep them watching your videos. All right, so let's rewind back to the first thing that I did. I delivered a bold statement. I said I was the best public speaker, bar none, on YouTube. MLK, Steve Jobs, they got nothing on me, right? So open up with that bold statement and they got your attention straight away. So don't be afraid to use those statements. You see it all the time, right? I think that's one of the key ingredients of why Kanye and Trump are so popular because all they do is make bold statements. But the scary thing is that they may actually believe them, right? That's one way to hook the audience. Make that big bold statement straight away, right at the top, and then keep that momentum going throughout the rest of your presentation. The next thing that you can do is actually ask questions. I could have started this off and asked you guys, do you know what the average adult attention span is? And I could have just left it hanging there for a second for you guys to quickly Google it or think like, no, but it's probably pretty short because my patience is running out with you right now. So just ask the question. It can be several different ways. So a rhetorical question, open-ended question, a yes or no question as well. Just open it up with that question and kind of get your audience pulled in and actually thinking, right? Because if they're thinking about the answer to your question, they can't be scrolling through Facebook on their phone, right? So that's another quick way to hook your audience. You also have to trigger your audience imagination, right? How many times have you seen a speaker get up and say things like, okay guys, close your eyes and imagine this. Imagine that you're at VidCon, you have six million active subscribers on YouTube, you're crushing it, you're getting comments and likes, you're dating like a super hot supermodel, you're driving a Lamborghini, you have an e-commerce store that's popping off, you're making like 50 grand a week on your e-commerce Shopify store, you have an amazing mansion, things are going great. How would that feel, guys? How would it feel? Would you feel fulfilled? Would that be enough, right? Just something like that, a quick visualization exercise to kind of get people thinking like, oh yeah, I can feel it. I can see myself in that Lamborghini. Oh yeah, I can, I can feel the leather, baby. You, just, you get people really going, you get that imagination going and you pull them in straight away, right? So just go in and do an imagine if or what if scenario and get that audience to really trust you. This one is one of my favorites, telling a story. Hopefully a true story, right? So if I was to tell a story, I would say, hey, right now I'm in my shed, it's super cold, I'm recording this video. I don't know if anybody's actually gonna watch it, but I'm confident that if I keep putting out great content, the audience will come. That's my story, it's true. That's what's happening right now. And people are probably thinking like, yeah man, I've tried to make videos on YouTube as well and I didn't know the audience was gonna come or not. And best believe, I'll be telling this story if I ever hit that VidCon stage, I'll be telling this exact story of what I'm doing. And I'll have pictures of this crappy shed with one usable wall for video as well. So while you're telling these stories, try to hit every emotion, right? Make them laugh, make them cry, make them think. So when you're putting this all together, just trigger all those emotions and you'll definitely hook that audience and have them wanting more straight away. It's also super important to provide contrast while you're speaking, right? So it can be contrasting emotions that your stories trigger or something like I'm doing right now on video is that I'm actually moving around. So you may not notice it, but if you watch the next clip, you'll probably see me standing on the opposite side or maybe standing in the center just to add some dynamics to this video, you also have probably already seen a little bit of B-roll that I've included as well, just to mix things up, right? So if I'm on stage, I don't have all this trickery and the zooms and the pans that I do when I'm making a video, but what I can do is that I can tell stories that trigger different emotions. I can even move around. If I wasn't worried about this camera, I could actually get up while I'm presenting and go out into the crowd and stand right in front of somebody and maybe talk to them. I could sit down in a chair, I could sit on the stage, I can do a lot of stuff to kind of mix up what I'm doing to make me a more dynamic speaker. Nobody wants to see me stand here like this 
all day. You got to keep it exciting. You got to mix it up while you're doing these videos to capture that audience attention straight away. It's also super duper important to get to the point straight away. Like we don't have time. We're all busy people. So I have an amazing intro that I spent like an hour making. I don't even use it anymore because my analytics told me that people were bouncing when that intro came in. Right? We don't have time for that. Let's get straight to the point, give people what they came here for, and get them the heck out. So with that being said, if you like this video, you'll probably like some of the videos that are up on the screen right now. And remember, if you like the content, please subscribe to the channel and leave comments because we must feed that YouTube algorithm beast. Until next time, guys, peace.